For this problem type, we're asked to solve a word problem using a linear equation in the form ax plus b equals c. So reading over the example here, we're told that Jane received a $80 gift card for a coffee store. She used it in buying some coffee that cost $8.51 per pound. After buying the coffee, she had $28.94 left on the card. So then the question is, how many pounds of coffee did she buy? Since that's what we're looking for, I'm going to go ahead and label that as our variable x. And then I'm just going to read back through and see what we can tell from the description. We're told that Jane started out with an $80 gift card, but then she spent some of it and she spent it buying some coffee that was $8.51 per pound. After buying the coffee, this is how much she had left, $28.94. So since she started off with the $80, I'm going to write that first. There's our $80 that she started with. And then she spent some. So we're going to subtract. And we're subtracting $8.51 per pound. So to find out how much she spent for the coffee, how much we need to subtract, we need to take $8.51 and we need to multiply it by the number of pounds that she bought. But that's what we don't know. We don't know how many pounds she bought. So I'm just going to multiply that by X. So what we have here is the $80 she started off with and we subtract $8.51 per pound. So if she bought one pound, we would subtract $8.51. Two pounds, we would have to double that and subtract three pounds, etc. And when we do that, we take how much she started off with and subtract the $8.51 per pound. She's left with $28.94. So this is our linear equation, and we just need to solve it, which means we need to get that x by itself. The first thing we need to do, though, is move every term that doesn't have an x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 80 from the left, which means I also subtract 80 from the right. Now, on the left-hand side, those 80s are going to cancel, and I'm left with just negative 8.51x. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to have to subtract that, but I've kind of got it written backwards because I need to put the bigger one on top. So it's 80, and I'm taking away 28.94. And when I do that, I'm going to have to do some borrowing. 7 makes that a 10, borrow from there makes the next one a 10, borrow from there, finally gives me my digits that I need to subtract, and that gives me a 6, a 0, a 1, and a 5. And since the larger one was negative, it's a negative 51.06. We're almost there to solve this for x. We just need to get rid of that negative 8.51 in front of it. So I'm going to undo multiplication with division. I'm going to divide by negative 8.51. And I have to do that on both sides, negative 8.51. On the left-hand sides, the 8.51s cancel, the negatives cancel, leaving me with just x, everything out, everything else canceled. On the right hand side, the negatives cancel, and the 51.06 divided by 8.51 works out to a nice round number, 6. So the question was, how many pounds of coffee did she buy? She bought 6 pounds of coffee, and that's what left her with the $28.94.